To integrate Splash in Eloqua, we'll start off in Eloqua by creating a few new fields at the contact level. Go to the database setup and then to fields and views. We'll add a contact field called Splash Event Domain to catch the subdomain of the Splash event sending over the contact info. And we'll create one called Splash Event Status to capture the status of the person, such as added, invited, RSVP, checked in, waitlisted, etc. Once you have your new fields in Eloqua, head into Splash. On your Accounts page, open the Integrations tab. Here, you'll find a list of all the integrations that have been configured so far, along with the ability to create a new one. Select New Integration, and then choose Eloqua. Log in with the company, username, and password that you intend to use to connect the two systems together, and then you'll be presented with the mapping screen. From here, we'll create the first mapping, triggered by a particular action in the system, in this case, RCP Yes to an event. You'll see a simple process where we map the fields from Splash to the fields at the contact level in Eloqua. Currently, we use email as the unique identifier of attendees, so that needs to be mapped from Splash to Eloqua using the email field. Now, we can map any other common fields we'd like, so the examples shown in this particular case are things like first name, last name, company, and job title. It's also important to map over the splash event domain to the corresponding field that we created, which you'll see in the list. Also, make sure that you create a custom splash object with the phrase of the status that you'd like to send over to Eloqua when somebody RCPs yes. And you'll map that to the splash event status. Make sure that you turn this integration on, and you're done. Now, every RFCP yes in Splash will automatically create or update a particular contact in Eloqua. And then you can use Eloqua as you would normally use it, creating segments, etc.